Hey guys, just left the gym. I did incline treadmill. I loved it. Speaking of things I love, this black cherry zip fizz, definitely overtaken as my favorite flavor. It's just tart and delicious, and it has a really strong flavor. Like some other flavors are kind of weak, depending on how much you know water you mix them with, but I'll be, I'll be loading my thing up, and that black cherry is hitting every single time. So I just ordered some of that, and I just ordered some pink lemonade, and I have blue raspberry already, and I have fruit punch. Like I am zip fizzed up, and I'm okay with it. Today for meal prep, I am having one thing I know for sure, which is nachos. So this past week, I saw Low Carbon Overalls, AKA Amy, on Instagram. She posted a picture of these keto nachos she made with the Quest tortilla chips and some ground beef on top. And like, I was just like, yep, that's it, done. <laughs> you know, that's what I'm having. So I went to GNC, of course, where they try to get me every single time but they were having a 20% off everything in the store sale. So I literally bought a case of protein chips, which is eight bags uh, and more protein powder and more bangs and more Quest bars. I'm trying to move away from the Atkins bars and go toward the Quest bars. And when they're 20% off, that's easier to do. For my second meal, I really loved the tuna I had last week. So I'm either thinking that or I'm just gonna buy a package of pulled pork to see if I want that. I really don't know yet, but I know that I'm gonna have these nachos and I'm excited. Today is hair day, so I'm gonna be getting my hair did. Uh, I'm getting a style change, so it's gonna be uh, quite drastic and I'm excited about it. So let's hope that turns out. But right now I'm just off to Meyer to get my uses and get on with the day. y'all so I called an audible like I was supposed to go to Walmart but I'm so hungry that I came straight home so I could cook some food I am very proud of myself because I didn't use this as an excuse to be like oh let me just stop and eat something out since I'm out like no I'm 10 minutes away from home let me go home I got some bacon in the oven about to put some eggs on and in the meantime I'm gonna brown up my ground beef for my nachos so multitasking all around Okay guys, so I just did the laziest thing ever. Like when I dumped that ground beef out into a bowl, I just didn't wipe it out. So all the ground beef uh, goodness and spices were still in there. Then I took some of the bacon grease from the bacon that was in the oven, poured it into that same dish, and then just cracked four eggs right into the pan and lazy scrambled them. So I got four eggs in bacon grease and a little bit of uh, taco meat and then I got the whole pack of bacon. Like, I'm not playing with y'all today. I haven't eaten yet and I'm hungry. Okay guys, I've just been sitting down for a long time. I guess I needed that rest. 
I am up and I have figured out pretty much what I'm gonna eat, but I do know that that includes these goodies brownies. I'm so excited, so I am gonna go ahead and make these. I am going, per the packaging, I am going for fudge-like brownies, so I will need two eggs and a half cup of melted butter. So I've already got the butter melted. I'm going to add this, add my eggs, and see what we got going on. Now I'm about to attempt something I have never done before. I wanna make protein waffles. So I am using the Quest Cinnamon Crunch Protein Powder. I'm hoping, you know, since that's already flavored exactly how I need it to, I won't have to add anything else. And from everything I've seen on the internet, it just looks like protein powder, an egg, some baking powder, and like a little bit of almond milk or water. So. I'm going to attempt that and if those work then I'm gonna have one in place of my shake for my snack this week. waffles who did that <laughs> I did it was so easy it was so easy spoiler alert I might have made like some practice waffles you know and they taste so good they don't even need syrup I think how I'm gonna eat them is I'm just gonna heat them up and then like just pour a tablespoon of butter over them oh my god I nailed this forgive the fact that my hair is different I'm still trying it on you know what I'm saying Speaking of winning though, look at these little brownie bars that I made. Oh my God. Huh. You can't tell me these ain't like actual brownies. You cannot tell me these are not Betty Crocker red box brownies, okay? I won. Uh, everyone stop, I won today, okay? <laughs> Okay guys, I have sampled way too much of my meal prep, but it all looks so good and it tastes so good. But the only thing I have left to do is chop up onions and jalapenos and cilantro and I just don't feel like doing it right now. So I'm gonna head to the shop and do some work and then come back and then hopefully I'll feel like taking the time to do that. But right now I just, I gotta get moving. I mean, I made some great stuff and I sampled it a little too much, but I'm going to get out and get some work done and then I'll be back. Okay guys, I am back from the shop. Of course I stayed later than I wanted to and I am tired. I'm calling it a day. It has been a long time since I did not finish a meal prep on Sunday. However, it be like that sometimes. Uh, so I'm going to chop up my jalapenos and onions tomorrow so that I can have them with my tacos or nachos. For my nachos, I'm just using the meat that I made and these Quest chips I'm very excited about. And then for dessert, I am having these Goodies Baked Mix Brownies. These are so good and they came out perfectly. I followed the directions exactly, except I baked them for 20 minutes because I put them in the little mini loaves instead of a big eight by eight pan. Perfect. For my second meal, I am having tuna salad. And for a snack, I'm having these protein waffles, which just exceeded my expectations and I'm super excited about. I'm gonna put two tablespoons of butter on these and have Jello and Zevia for dessert. All right, I'm pooped. I gotta figure out what to do with my hair. <laughs> I'm gonna sit down and watch TV and call it a night. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto, and you can ding that notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video. You can also find me on Instagram, at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks, and I'll catch you next week.